Good afternoon, Dr. Michelle Veneziano here, um, osteopathic family medicine physician, and uh, had some thoughts this morning. It was like a brick to forehead when I'm, I'm just tapping into so much of this conversation around the coronavirus, and I have a cousin in Italy who's a physician talking about how, you know, some scary things are happening with not having enough respirators for other people needing oxygen support. And it's, um, <clears throat> well, the bottom line is panic and fear lower the immune system. So this is a paradox, right? I think it's important for us to respond and be prepared and also to keep really um, optimistic thoughts in our consciousness, as well as some conscious body practices that can really help boost the immune system. So, you know, the claim to fame of the osteopathic profession, one of them is that during the flu epidemic of 1918, which killed hundreds of thousands of people, um, osteopathic physicians had a drastically lower mortality rate, something like 80%. The idea being that um, well, two of the things that we do is we help shift the nervous system from fight, flight, freeze, hide into rest, digest, heal, feel. Um, part of this is through nerves in the cranium and sacrum that uh, are related to the autonomic nervous system. And part of it, too, is about helping all of the joints in the body function like a pump. So I have this little model here. When all the joints in the body are free and all of the body is kind of mechanically blended and integrated, our system, like I call the body a system, it acts like a pump which moves all the fluids around and helps the cells of the immune system get where they need to go. There are many ways that we can do this for ourselves, and that includes some very, a very basic practice of keeping your attention in your body, in your feet, in your spine, so that in a sense you're feeling a little bit of every cell in your body moving with every movement, every step, every breath. It's a bit of a flow practice. Um, that's actually our natural state that we simply just don't do anymore because the diversity of our movements is so much less, right? We sit in chairs so much, we drive cars, um, we have a lot of stress in our lives, so we tend to contract. And the opposite of that is what's really going to make our immune systems work well and help us keep our heart, hearts open and support each other through this scary time. So I wanted to share my screen here because I actually found a video of a self-flow practice that's very osteopathic that I'm going to include some links to below, including some research to point you in the direction of accomplishing this for yourself. And I'm not seeing my the share screen option. Huh, I wonder why not. Ah, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen, which is actually going to be uh, this video here. I'm really excited to show you. Flow motion. You wouldn't know it. Well, you can you tell? It's a woman, a woman I know, who is... Um, bending down with her arms on the ground and moving her rib cage. And what she's doing is a mindfulness-based movement practice. It's, it's not quite intentional. It's actually a deep meditative state that allows the nervous system to release so much that we're, we actually go into a bit of like a healing trance and a movement trance. And my message is and the, and the really the bulk of my teaching of people is around the fact that some version of this fluid movement can be cultivated while you're sitting at your desk while you're walking um, you know from your desk to the cooler or pretty much at any time so um, I'll include some links to things like that 
in the comments below and I'd love to hear your feedback and any other thoughts you might have. And I'm very excited to dive more deeply into this subject with you because there is just the most phenomenal research emerging, uh, including language in, in physics that just helps us understand how innate and natural states of flow really are and how we're not learning anything new. We're simply accessing our natural selves. Hope that helps. Talk to you soon.